Hey everybody, Kwame here, and as you can see, this is a video that I'm posting on Monday, and that's because for the month of December, I know it's technically still um, November, but for December, I want to try to post every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So I'm going to try to do three videos a week, and the nice part is these videos will have will have a theme for the week. So, like an example, this week it's all about uh, gift ideas that you can get people at various price points so today's video is about gifts under one hundred dollars and then you know we'll have one hundred to five hundred dollars and five hundred dollars and above for the other two videos well what's great about this is a you're gonna see more content from me but who can't uh, who doesn't like that and B you all know what the theme for the week is so you know you know if it's something you're interested in you can check out the other two videos if it's not then you can kind of skip this week and look at all the other great videos that are out there so let's jump into this first video as I said before these are gift ideas for photographers videographers creatives anyone who is interested in creating content this first item here is the peak design cuff uh, wrist strap this is really good for people who have a point and shoot camera or are using their cell phones and have a case that can attach a, um, uh, a strap to it what's nice about the peak design and you will see a couple more items from peak design in this video I'm not sponsored by them no one is sponsoring this video this video is sponsored by me so if you do appreciate the video I will have links for everything we're going to talk about down below but what's great about these um, this peak design system are these clips here because you can easily take in this case the rips the wrist strap on or off really quick and really simple it's these are the straps here the anchors that they're called here I use these on every camera so this one the a6100 and the Panasonic G9 they have clips to them my wife even has a neck strap which I'll show you in a second and with the anchor clips you can easily take on and off the strap when she needs it next up is the Peak Design slide strap, uh, camera strap light this is the one that I use and this is the one my wife uses and again this is just great because of the anchors but then with this one you can easily slide the, the camera strap to get it at the right adjustable um, the right length and then you clamp down these clamps here and it you know it's not going anywhere it's really good I use it with the uh, a72 with the 28 to 200 which is I mean this is not a light setup and it works fine like it really does work fine it doesn't it's never slipped on me I've had mine for over a year now I highly recommend it I think it works best with um, cameras I would say like the heaviest camera I would use on it is like a, a Sony a7 II, something in that range uh, even with my battery grip it it pulls a little bit uh, a little bit too much and like that thin it's a thinner strap can kind of eat into your neck so that can be annoying so for larger cameras I uh, recommend the peak design slide camera strap 2 is just a bigger heavier duty strap same thing like the other ones you get the anchor clips next up is the peak design five liter everyday sling this is a messenger bag sling what's great about this are days that you're going out with just one camera and like one lens if you don't want to use it for a camera bag you can easily just use it as a day bag they're really nice I used to have this bag but when we moved to Minnesota I for some reason decided to get rid of it I regret that I will be picking up another one because it's under sixty dollars and it's really great again you know there are many times where we go places and I just want to you know put this in a bag and not carry it around my neck or something like that this backpack or this sling here will be perfect for that next are tripods and these two tripods I use on a constant basis this first one the Manfrotto pixie mini tripod this is a great travel tripod, a great lightweight tripod because it's you can sit on the table if you have a phone, even a like the A6100 with a smaller lens like the 16 to 55 kit lens. It's a great, you know, set it up, take some pictures of, you know, if you want to take pictures of your food, take pictures of each other, that kind of stuff. It's a really great 
small tripod or if you want to take a, a group picture you get that extra little reach by holding it out i absolutely love this tripod i've had it when we lived in minnesota so at least uh, seven years now it's been amazing this little clamp here that you use to set your position hasn't moved at all the only time it moved is when i tried to put my a72 with this lens on here and then yeah it didn't work out i think if i had the a72 with the 24 millimeter samyang lens it would be a it wouldn't move at all but with a heavier camera heavier lens it won't work but again uh if you're using a cell phone to a APS-C smaller APS-C camera it will be work perfectly fine if you do need something that's a little bit bigger or want to give someone a gift that can carry a little bit more weight the Joby uh, 3k or 5k uh, gorilla pod is a great great item i have two of these i've used them for the last three years and it's been perfectly fine casey neistat made these famous when he was doing his daily vlogs over time these joints here can get a little loose on one of my tripods it's starting to happen on one of the legs and, and actually just on one of the knuckles but it doesn't really bother me it you know there there is a metal version of this if you wanted to pick that up it costs a little bit more but then they won't get loose over time but again I've had mine for three years and it's worked out perfectly fine speaking of taking pictures and video with your phone this is the best tripod phone mount that I've ever used I've used a lot of them and this is the one that I still have to this day I've owned it for over a year now and it it is great it will hold most phones like I have an iPhone 7 plus it holds it just fine um, what's nice about this one it has a cold shoe mount so you could put like a microphone or a light up on top here but it also has a, a tripod mount on the side so if you want to do uh, like Instagram story type videos you can do that if you want to take pictures vertically you can do that at, attach it to a tripod and you're good to go the next item is the phone case that I use and I recommend to anyone whose phone you know you can use this for is the moment case first of all they're very tough I've dropped my actually just recently I dropped my iPhone 7 uh, plus on the ground and down here in the basement and it's concrete and it was fine like it landed on the corner and nothing was wrong with it but it also has these uh, these little mounts here so you can mount you can add attachment for like wide-angle lenses telephoto lenses uh, macro lenses fisheye lenses and they even have an anamorphic lens for people who are into video or even taking anamorphic pictures for someone who is mainly taking pictures and videos with their phone a moment case and a moment lens is amazing now there's an alternative lens that you can get that also fits the moment case i forgot the name of it i have three of them i, I use them i used to use them all the time i don't use them as much because i'm using my cameras more but they are really good really amazing um, cases and lenses so i have links down below for both both of them the one that i recommend to get is a macro lens just because it's really interesting and most people uh don't take macro pictures or video and once you do though it's it's really fun it's a nice way to 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 pick out little details in a scene or you know just to get really close to a cool bug or something like that next is a loom cube light panel now this is a light that i use on a regular basis actually i'm using it right now it's the light that i don't know if you can see there's a light down here that's illuminating me from the back that's this uh light panel here it's a really nice small light panel. So if you see here, you, this is an A. This is on an A7 III. You can see just how tiny that is, and it will fit literally fit in your pocket. What's really great about these? I use them going camping. So I, we have um, uh, pockets on the side of our tent, and I will drop one in each pocket, and it just illuminates the entire tent at night, and it's really really nice. They put out so much light, and the batteries last forever. I don't remember the last time I charged mine. I've also used them on my Manfrotto tripod to get a little fill light from doing like product photography. This is a great uh, solution if you need a little fill light. You know, if you get that little mini tripod or the Gorilla Pod, you can put this light on here and angle it up and get a nice fill light like underneath your chin and that kind of stuff. And last but not least is the app LumaFusion. 
and that this is the app that I edit all my videos in even this video right now I'm editing in LumaFusion for the iPad now it only works in the iPad or the new Apple M1 um, computers so like their MacBook Air MacBook Pro or Mac mini this is an amazing amazing video editor I got rid of my Adobe subscription to Premiere because I've been using LumaFusion for everything for these type of videos I even edited a, a video one of my largest video project to date uh, in LumaFusion it was shot the video was shot in 4k uh, I had three cameras I had music you know playing over it I had audio coming in from the event itself it was a lot and it handled it perfectly fine in the newer LumaFusion with like the iPad Pros and stuff you can edit 8k video in here fine it doesn't stutter at all so that's really cool and if you're someone who's just getting into video and you don't want to spend a ton of money on Premiere or um, Final Cut Pro I would definitely start with LumaFusion if you have an iPad or iPhone learn how to do that learn how to make edits and things in LumaFusion and the great part is if you do need a little extra editing power that you can't do in LumaFusion there is an in-app in purchase that you can pay for that will let you export an XML file and you can edit that on Final Cut Pro now that of course is only on Mac but it's a great great video editor I'm so excited that it's coming to the new Apple hardware like the Mac mini I'm really looking forward to using it on a MacBook Air I think this will be the perfect video editing machine for what I do and for a lot of you so those are my suggestions for gifts under a hundred dollars for photographers videographers or any kind of creatives that that you're buying for or if you're looking for an idea to give people you know share this list with them and have them pick out something on here for you as always I'll have links down below to everything that you see here they are affiliate links I do get a small commission but it does help my channel a small channel like myself so much so I appreciate everyone who has used my links in the past thank you for watching this video make sure you check out Wednesday's video because it's gonna be a little bit more expensive 100 to 500 dollars but I think there are some really cool things that people are gonna like in that on that list. Thanks again and I will see you in the next video. Talk to you later. Bye bye.